हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर अगेन विद ए न्यू वीडियो ऑफ बायोलॉजी एंड माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज सीड एंड फ्रूट डेवलपमेंट इन माय प्रीवियस टॉपिक यू हैव सीन अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो इन मोनोकॉट्स एंड इन डायकॉट्स बट आर टुडेज टॉपिक इज द सीड एंड फ्रूट डेवलपमेंट हाउ द सीड एंड फ्रूट गेट डेवलप एंड वॉट इज द गोल ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट बिफोर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सीड एंड फ्रूट डेवलपमेंट वी शुड नो अबाउट द गोल ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन The goal of reproduction is an important topic for the continuation of life. The life gets continued only when there is a production of offspring. I have already discussed this before the chapter get starts. Offspring, offsprings are the young ones. Here we will term it with the help of the seed. Seed is responsible for giving birth to a new plant. And how the seed formation takes place? The seed formation takes place by the combination of the male gamete and the female gamete together to form zygote. Zygote develops into an embryo, and embryo develops into a seed, and later on the seed start developing into a new plant. Plant will again develop a new flowers. Flowers will again develop a seed, and seed will again. So the life keeps on continuing. So this is how the seed starts developing. Here, when we are seeing the difference between the monocot and dicot plants, we should know that in dicot we are having the two different cotyledons, but in monocot there is a single cotyledon. So in dicot, when we are seeing the two different cotyledons, we know that that the seed is been prevented with the seed coat. So from where the seed coat is been developed, the seed coat is developed from the integuments. This word we have seen when when we have discussed about the anatropous ovule. In anatropous ovule, you have seen that already the integuments which were there, it persists, and later on it develops into a seed coat. It develops into a seed coat, and seed coat prevent the internal part that is the endosperm. So now the next concept, which is in front of us, is about the endosperm. What endosperm do? We have seen already the work of endosperm. Endosperm is a nutritive tissue which provides the nutrition for the growth and development of embryo. When we are discussing about the seed, the seed is prevented with a seed coat. The outer seed coat is known as testa. Testa is an outer coat. Why the tegmen? Tegmen is the inner coat. It is a thin membranous coat which is present inside. The two cotyledons are clearly seen, which is having a radical here. The radical in the later stage start development in the form of roots. Why the hypocotyl and epicotyl helps here for the development of the shoot, the cotyledons and the development of the plumule. So this is all about the bean seed structure of dicot. Now, when we are seeing about a maize seed, this is a monocot. Example of monocot. We see here there is a alveolar layer. It's a thin layer which is having the development in both the parts where the seed coat is with a fruit wall. In the monocot, generally we see that the cotyledon instead of division of the two cotyledons, there is a single cotyledon where the growth of the terminal part is in the form of the endosperm, and there is also a development of coleoptile and plumule. Coleoptile is responsible for protection of the shoot part, that is the plumule part. Why the coleoptera give the protection to the growth of root part, that is radical. And scutellum is a shield shaped structure. This we have seen in the development of the embryo in monocot. Overall, when we see about the seed differences, there is a development of two cotyledons in dicot, and in monocot there is a development of a single cotyledon. Endosperm is present in both. There are also some seed which are having the presence of endosperm. We call such seeds as endospermic seed, or we also call them as albuminous. Where the endosperm is present, where the endosperm is present. In this kind of the seed, the endosperm is present in a nutritive tissue where the endosperm gets. used up little place and it gets fused or filled up with the material that's why there is a vacuole like situation seen in the presence of coconut 
So coconut is one of the good example of endospermic seed. Next example is we can say wheat, the crop. These are all endospermic seeds. When we are seeing about the non-endospermic seed, we also call them as non-albuminous. Non-albuminous. In this kind of seed, what happens? The endosperm is used up for the development and this kind of seeds are generally having the outer coat in the form of the seed coat as well as in the form of fruit wall. The examples are P and B. This you have to mention in exam the examples. Very important. P and B. These are the examples of non albuminous Now I will discuss you about the significance of the seed and fruit. Why the fruits are important? Fruits are helpful for preventing the seed. Fruits are helpful for propagating the new kind of the plants. So these are very very necessary about the seeds. Fruits are also helpful for the generation of the new species. Fruits gives us the storage or the reserve foods. Next when we see about the dormancy. Dormancy is also a condition in the seed which is correlated to the seed where the seed remains in inactive stage. Why they are called as inactive? Because the metabolic rates get arrested and the seed grows in dormancy. When it gets a favorable condition, the seeds again get germinated and it develops into a new plant. So this concept also you have to remember dormancy. Upon Marathi Tala Sukta Avastha Vanto. Dormancy is also one of the important facts. So today we have discussed about the dicots and monocot seeds and also the formation of the fruit. So I hope you understood my today's lecture. Thank you for watching the video.